Okay. Okay. So for some of you, <coughs> a very emotional month. <sighs> I'm going to just tune in for a few seconds and then I'm going to tell you what I feel. For some of you, you had to let go of an addiction or a toxicity or a toxic environment, something that did not serve you in the past. Maybe for some of you, you've been involved with a, a situation where three people were involved or a third party. I strongly feel like you've been deceived and, and discovered like a, maybe, maybe a cheating uh, thing that was happening, but you've discovered something and you're really like sad and, and, and looking at, you know, at this, like you have wasted your time, you have lost your, wasted your energy and time over something that didn't serve you, but you have to stop crying over spilled milk and, you know, really take on the action of looking in the future because you definitely have a new beginning again. I, uh, it's a little bit, yeah, the beginning is like a little bit like cancer video, but I feel like you're stagnant into not wanting to let go of this situation. Although you know it's not good for you, although you know it's toxic and draining and, and this situation is not good for you, but there is something with your emotions that you have very, uh, maybe difficulties to let go of this attachment. You're still wanting to offer love or you're still feeling like you want to save this relationship or no matter what it is or a situation. Maybe for some of you it's a commitment, for others of you it's a marriage. You feel very hurt and, and sad and, and you, it feels like you're, you, you cannot just raise your head. But I, you have to you have to make a move. Let me just clarify a few cards. You're gonna go uh, into a period of introspection and really analyzing what you, what it is you want to do or what situation you want to be in because now there is a lot of confusion in your head, really. Okay. Although you want this person back into your life or you want to offer this person uh, another cup of love, they either don't want to or you either know they're not good for you, therefore you're not accepting their offer once again. But I strongly feel, I'm going to just clarify a few things. It was definitely for you a soulmate connection that you had to let go of yeah uh, emotionally very involved very you have given it your all actually and it feels like there is a a, a move there is a uh, oh, hold on there is a move towards a new beginning yeah now you are whatever happened happened you i feel like you are very uh in control and trying to protect yourself as much as you can because you've been hurt in the past and even if there is a new person now coming into your life you'll be analyzing it so much and you know perhaps not giving even a chance to this person but it says here no you have to you have the sun card so please be open to other opportunities because you are going to have other stable opportunities the person you were with perhaps could be a capricorn or a water sign also could be an air uh, sorry an earth sign I don't see air right now in here but there is something new coming into your life in the near future that will really brighten your life and will take you on the next level so you will get out of this confusion get out of this arguments they definitely has been arguments and 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 problems about someone cheating something came up to light it's either you or someone who did this to you 
So now you're in phase of healing. Probably there is an Aquarius uh, involved in this, but you are in phase of healing and you're going to really overcome this. And there is a new person that is going to help you overcome this. Now it's turning into your favor. There is a brand new love, as I said. Something will really sweep you off your, foot, your feet and you are going to start anew with this person. Everything you've wished for. Just let go of this attachment. You have to transform, definitely. You're too, too attached to the secrets, to the lies, to the deception. Don't bring this energy into your life anymore. Do some healings. Just clear this energy. Whatever it takes to do, do. Get out, see friends, meet new people. I know maybe some. most of the time we don't even have the, the uh, wanting to do so or the will to want even to get out of our house. We just want to cry over our over our life but you know the outer world can can be so helpful the energy of the outer world can really take you uh take your vibrations higher so please just try to let go of it and if you for some of you if you have already met this person the new person then give give him or her a chance really And if you're single, the month of November could be a month where you could meet someone. I feel after your birthday, whenever you're born. Okay, so now bring on the person that you want to ask um, or the energy of the person that you want to ask about. This is a potential love spread. So I'm using the Romance Angel cards. And I'm be I'm gonna be using as well the witch's tarot to clarify. Okay, so you're gonna enter into um, a new era. <laughs> yes, a new era, something new. Okay, so th these cards are so beautiful. I feel like they are applying for the new person coming into your life or for the new person you met. Because what you feel is this person is really worth waiting for and you're gonna really feel regenerated and reborn being with this person because it's it feels equal. It feels like, okay, what is it? It's a give and take relationship. It's equal balance. It's true love. Now let me clarify with a few cards and then I'll come up with the with the messages and energies all together into a story. Okay. Ooh. bottom of the deck justice so for some of you you could be dealing with a libra for others of you this is the ending of something that wasn't balanced okay so i feel like those cards are speaking of when you are letting go of the past so when you will let go of this feeling and 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 you know burden you have you're definitely, you're thinking that the right person is definitely worth waiting for. The divine timing is at work on your love life. Do not disregard what you had with this person. It was really necessary for you to acquire all the wisdom and all the learning into moving into the new relationship you have. So you have to be thankful, really thankful for the lessons you have received and, and you know, really thank this person. Maybe now it's too raw. But in the future, you'll be really thanking this person for making you realize that what is your potential and what it is you, you can achieve. The new person you're going to welcome into your life is a true love potential. And it, it, this is the romance of your lifetime. Could be a cancer. But whatever it is, if this starts, it's going to be starting and something fast. It's going to like a, have a positive outcome. But you're going to realize that the commitment of 
the, the, the commitment is going to happen very fast. There is a lot of passion between you two. Although you feel like you're not at a good space to welcome a new love, but if this happens to you, don't close the doors because you have to trust yourself and trust that you deserve love. Now you are, maybe you are too much into your previous energies and not clearing them up, but this person is coming into your life to show you first you are lovable, to show you that they're here for you, they can support you, they can be your best half, okay? And the Wheel of Fortune is turning into your favor, so please do, don't just neglect or disregard this, or this uh, offer. And the outcome, you just have to express your love, just go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You just need to make a small effort into to make, uh, to make this um, blossom and happen. It's a very positive spread, honestly. Um, is there any other messages? Scorpio, I feel like you've been let down more than more than once during this past four years but you have this thing of uh, maybe some uh, uh, don't take it the wrong way but instead of seeking revenge or seeking to to you know to manipulate the other person or whatever to get into what it is you want or maybe because you're too much you're too hurt just you know turn it into compassion and forgiveness and love and really take on the best lessons that you have had th from these experiences because if you leave it with a nice energy with a, like there would be no bad karma coming up to you so it's really recommended to uh, just what is it It feels like this situation or relationship you're going through or you went through is teaching you how to get connected to yourself and how to love yourself. So thanks to this person or thanks to this situation, you are really going to reconnect with yourself and your true self and your highest potential. So you really, this person had played a role, a big role into your life, into opening your eyes. Wow, that's a, a very nice message. So I want to ask the healing angel cards what it is Scorpio needs to heal in order to have uh, a fruitful next step or a positive next step. Please show me. What is Scorpio need to heal? Okay, freedom. Bottom of the deck, romance. And you have freedom and soulmate. You have to heal yourself in knowing how to feel free and how to love yourself. The romance they're talking about, it's a romance of yourself and to loving yourself. You are your best soulmate, Scorpio. And you are going to meet the right person for you when you will love yourself at the most. So I can go on and read the messages, but this is the message I have from above. And it's really uh, resonating with the rest of the reading. I strongly feel like as soon as you will feel free and you will let go of this attachment, toxic attachments you had, there is a new beginning, a new romance and a new soulmate entering into your life. For some of you, it's going to really apply into the month of November. I feel just after your birthday. For some of you, maybe it did happen. So, I don't know. Let's take a few cards from the Osho uh, tarot cards. Love. Breathing. Scorpio, November 2017. Okay, so I feel there is a lot of control issues. <sighs> and I feel, <laughs> yeah, control issues.
Okay, so I want you to be open-minded into whatever is coming into your life. I'll tell you why. Because now you are very, I feel like you're okay with going to whatever is, uh, when you are in your comfort zone, I mean, you know what you do, you have your rituals, you have your, but it's okay to be that way. But it's okay also to, you know, open up your circle and, and welcome new things into your life and, and participate in different things because there are possibilities, there are breakthroughs that could happen through, you know, uh, through new beginnings. And when you open yourself, there is definitely maybe meeting the right person through that. So be just open. Yeah. Don't be close to to possibilities don't be close to participating into something or if there is any party just do it because when you stay with yourself you're just like okay i have this life i go to work come back home blah 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 it's kind of boring you know and you're looking at your life passing by like this it feels like you are only like for those of you who are parents only a parent or only like uh, an employee in a company or only a daughter or only a, a you know a, a wife or, or a husband or feels like kind of boring so what it is you have to do is just take on the energy of wanting to try new things and new beginnings will open so this is a really a good advice for you uh, Scorpio try to do so for the month of November definitely new possibilities and beginnings happening maybe you you feel like you're stuck or you're stuck at home or your energy is stagnant but you by doing so it will really open um, yeah, op you really open yourself for new beginnings. New relationships are here. Maybe friends, potential, lover. Now I want you please to stop or pause this video for 10 seconds. Ask a question. What it is you want to know about yourself and once you bring on this energy and you feel it around yourself just play back this video and then you will have the answer to your question from the angel cards okay so what it is you have asked for i have a card for you and it says success so please just be patient and here it says in, at the bottom of the deck not the right time so perhaps whatever you're asking for is not going to happen right now but it's on its way and it's going to come when it's you know for your best in interest at divine timing 